Hey everybody, we're back, and we're joined by, uh, by Josh Mascara, uh, game director on Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Ultimate Evil Edition. Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for having me. It's great so, to be uh, here. Yeah, so the Ultimate Evil Edition is coming soon to PlayStation. When, when's it coming to PlayStation 4? August 19th. August 19th, awesome. And this is just a bigger, badder version of Diablo 3, which came to uh, PlayStation 3 a while ago. And it's got some new content in the Reaper of Souls expansion, plus, you know, a bunch of new stuff that you've added to the PC version and uh, a lot of other fun stuff. Can yeah. you just give us a quick overview of what we're getting in the Ultimate Evil Edition? Why, why is it so evil? Why is it so evil? Why is it so ultimate? Well, as you mentioned, it comes with like everything that made Diablo 3 on console uh, so awesome, right? So you get Acts 1 through 4, plus the additional Act 5, which you're seeing right now on the, on the back of the screen, the new class, the Crusader, um, you know, Adventure Mode. So all the things that made the PC version of Reaper Souls so really great, plus the direct control you got from, from the console version. Yeah. Plus we have a number of cool, very specific console features that we've added to the Ultimate Evil Edition. Cool. What kind so, of console specific well, features? So one of the key things for this version is we really want players to share their adventures. So we've done a, you know, a few things like you know, we have a, what we call the apprentice mode. So now characters of different levels can play together. So if you have a level 60 character and I have a lowly level 1 character, I can jump into your game and you know, sort of play oh, alongside awesome. of you. So it totally makes the experience very social. And that's one of the key things that is important for the Ultimate Evil Edition. Nice. That'll come in really handy because so many times I try to get my friends to join me playing the game and I'll, like, I'll help level you up really quickly and they just kind of come in and I just wreck everything while they hang back. But this will kind of even that playing field. Absolutely. So. Nice. So you guys just announced some uh, PlayStation specific content that uh, PS3 and PS4 players will be able to get in the Ultimate Evil Edition. Yeah. Can you run us through what that totally. stuff is? So we're huge Sony fans. Um, <laughs> so. We always try to sort of do a sort of good nod to some of our favorite Sony games. So we, uh, so we, the two things we announced, we have a Last of Us um, themed uh, Nephilim Rift, which is one of the sort of gameplay modes in, in adventure mode. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. They're like so get, infected bloaters running around you in got, there. You got the monsters from Last of Us, the zombies. We have the, the so weather effect. And you know, the, the level's been handcrafted, so it looks like it's part of you know, a Last of Us a world within the world of Sanctuary. And then my favorite one is the one we announced uh, yesterday, which is a Shadow of the Colossus armor set. Uh, and that's, that that's a transmog set, that's meaning transmog that you can set. apply that look to other, other armor, right? Yeah, is that so, how that works? Yeah, one of the features in Reaper Souls is the uh, Mystic, and you can transmogify your, your armor, so here you can actually look like there was one of the Colossus. Awesome. So this isn't just like an armor that you'll play with for a couple levels and then you get something better so you stash it, you know, stash it away and never see it again. You can, as you get better armor, you can then make it look like this awesome exactly. Shadow of the Colossus garb. Exactly. You'll, that's you'll, amazing. You can that's use amazing. it from oh, level so, 1 to level 70. Fa fantastic, man. That's, I can't wait to check that out. So we've got some gameplay on the screen here. Yeah. Um, looks like one of the characters is actually playing as the new Crusader class. Yep. Can you give us an overview of how the Crusader plays and how it fits in with the other characters in the game? So the Crusader is a, you know, a brand new class. Uh, you know, he's not your knight in shining armor, but we like to call him your knight in battle scarred armor. You know, he's like heavily armored, has a flail, the shield. And the great thing about him is that he's a master of both like smashing things up close, but he also can call, uses sort of righteous sort of wrath to attack enemies at a distance. So. Some of the things you'll see, John, who's playing the Crusader right now, you'll see him, you know, use like Falling Sword or yeah, Fist of the Heavens, and that really gives him this range dynamic. So it's a very cool class that way. Nice. Yeah, this gameplay looks good, yeah. man. This game looks so good on it, PlayStation. 4. That's one of the things we're really proud of. It's like, you know, running on 1080p, 60 frames per second. Nice. You know, we've done some graphical tweaks to make it look really next gen, and that's the thing, really exciting thing that. You know, the Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition is, is one of the first sort of RPGs to hit the PlayStation 4, and I'm really happy with how it's come, a, come along. Like, what you're seeing right there uh, is what we call um, Yeah, it looks like there's some like, new interface elements popping up. I, it actually said Nephilim Glory. I don't think that... Yeah, that was a ni nice little flare. Exactly. Um, and I, I think the map looks like it got an update, too. Looks like yeah, you guys have made a bunch of little tweaks. We, yeah, we, you know, it's one of the hallmarks of a Blizzard game is we constantly tweak them and we sort of, like, it sort of evolve them, mostly due to a lot of great player feedback. So, again, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a living game. 
Nice. What are some other changes that you've made, maybe based on fan feedback or just uh, as a process of tweaking the game over the, you know, what, uh, it's been out for over a year now. Right. For a um, while. For a while. So I think one of the, one of the big ones, especially when you're playing couch co-op, you know, sort of like, so it was great in for the original version on, on console that, you know, you, you know, the loot's dropping and, you know, we got the, the item queue coming up. At, it always happened, right, that your buddy playing the Crusader, uh, or the Barbarian in that case, would always ninja all the loot, right? <laughs> and then you have to sort of negotiate with them, hey, that's my sword, that's your bow, and stuff like that. So one of the things, one of the feedback we kept getting is how can we make the, you know, that experience better? Um, so one of the things we've added, so Johnny, uh, who's a senior designer working on this, um, he decided, well, why don't we just, you know, if an item drops for me, but you pick it up, it will actually go into my, my inventory. So now we have cool. per player loot if you're playing online or if you're playing on the, on the couch together. Nice. So. There's some other cool co-op online type stuff that you guys are doing too. I remember a specific example I heard about if a certain enemy kills you, then it'll show up in someone else's game. Run us through that. So that's, I think, a really great feature. Again, we're going to share your adventures. And sometimes it might not work that we can play together but we want players to feel that they always have that connected experience. So one of the great things we added are the nemesis kills. So how this works is, so I'm the crusader, so I'm playing, right? And let's say one of the skeletons or one of the monsters kills me, like one of those guys kills Just me. Just one of these random little mobs down one here. One of those guys. Yeah. There's a chance that any monster that kills you will essentially level up. And what, he, what happens is he'll, he'll open up a portal, step through it, and he will then materialize in one of my friend's games. So uh, that skeleton kills me, right? And I, I'm like, you know, steps through his portal, and then the so next So you'll actually see the enemy that killed you, like, walk through a portal, and then yeah, you know that totally. it's in somebody else's game. You're in there. <laughs> and then the next time you log in and you're playing, you know, first you'll, like, the screen will darken, and there's almost a bit of a Jaws moment. The music will come up. The portal opens up, and the nemesis comes out, right? And it'll say, like, Josh's nemesis. And, and if you kill him, Great, you'll get a you get a cool reward. I will get a reward as well. So there's this way of connecting. But if he kills you, he will level up again, oh, step through wow. a portal, and then Until go to somebody, somebody else. Until somebody finally takes him out. Yep. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and it's, it's really it's it's, it's kind of cool because you're playing, and all of a sudden like this nemesis shows you up. You guys are adding so much stuff. I thought that I had like conquered Diablo 3 because I maxed out my character, my Demon Hunter on PS3, yeah. hit a few Paragon levels, beat Inferno, and said, all right, well I think I'm probably done, but. I mean, this is so much new content coming to the PlayStation 4 version. Now, I will actually be able to bring my PS3 character over to the PS4 version, right? How does that work? So, you know, you'll just, you'll just be able to um, import your, your save game. So you'll be able to take that level, your level 60 Demon Hunter, right? And just, you know, there's an import option going there, and you'll be playing Reaper Souls with your character exactly where you left them on the Diablo 3. No, that's, that was really important for, for yeah, all yeah, of us. Yeah, man, that's, that's fantastic news. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about PlayStation 4. Let's yeah. talk about DualShock 4. What are you guys doing with DualShock 4? What can you do with this controller that you can't do uh, you know, with a keyboard and mouse? Yeah, see, the, the, the DualShock 4 is such a great controller. It feels fantastic. But there's a few features we really, really love, and we would try to figure out how we can really make use of them. Um, so let's start with the trackpad. So Diablo, you know, we did a lot of work on the inventory, you know, to make it feel very console specific. And now it's great. You can actually use a trackpad to select your, to go through your, all your items and it just feels very, sort of very natural. It feels, feels great. Um, but I think my, one of the, my favorite features is, like you notice right now, like, you know, Johnny's, you know, it's got like P1 is yellow yeah, and yeah, P2 yeah. is blue. We actually use the, um, the light sensor and we actually color code the light sensor in a DualShock for each player. So it's, 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 it's like a small little feature, but it's great because, you know, when you put your controller down to go grab a beer or something like that, you, you know which controller belongs to which player, and it's, uh, it's, 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 nice. it's a really nice. cool nod. So. Awesome. So uh, what are some other ways that you guys, I mean, Diablo is seen, people are still playing this game who have been playing it since it came out. How do you guys engineer that endless replayability? That, that people can just constantly go back and keep playing this game? I mean, there's a definite end of the game. You can beat this game, you can max out your character, but what, what tricks are you using to uh, get people to keep on playing it and never get bored? So there's, I think, two big things we've, we've, we've added with Reaper Souls that are coming over to the Ultimate Evil Edition. I think the first one is what we call Adventure Mode. Right, so after you've, beat, you've you know, beaten Diablo and you've beaten Malthael and you've completed like all five acts, 
we open up Adventure Mode, which is essentially a, a open world experience. So you, you can now go anywhere and slay anything. And we have, you know, there's bounties you can, you can undertake. They're essentially randomized quests. Um, and then you're doing those so you can unlock what we call Nephilim Rifts, which really takes a randomization, you know, through the roof. So, you know, you'll step into a dungeon where everything's random. The layout, the monsters, the weather, right? And at the end of that dungeon, there's a Rift boss. And of course, if you can defeat him, it'll drop great loot for you. So there's adventure mode. It just makes sort of that, that gameplay cycle feel, feel endless. And we also made a big change to Paragon. So Paragon used to go up to 100, and it was hard cap. What we've done in Ultimate Evil Edition is now there's no cap to Paragon. Oh. So you can go past 100, 200, 300, 400. Oh, wow. But the really cool thing is every time you get a Paragon level, you essentially get to spend a Paragon point to tweak your stats. Ah, okay. So we have this like great, you know. So you can really just endlessly improve your character. Yeah. Wow, so. cool. Um, nice. So uh, we're nearly out of time here, but I have one more question I want to ask you. And uh, sorry for putting you on the spot here, but I'm going to make you choose between your children. Okay. What's your favorite class to play out of you know all of them, including the new Crusader in Diablo Three? So what is my favorite class? So I'm going to I'm going to make you know. Some players really happy and a lot of players not very happy, but I love them all. <laughs> but there's something to be said about playing the Crusader, especially on the Ultimate Evil Edition with the, the dual truck controller in your hand. It's just like, it just feels like the character has such mass, such weight, such power that it feels great playing on, on, the, on the controller. So I've been playing a lot of the Crusader. Awesome. I look forward to playing the Crusader as well. And we'll be able to this August when Diablo 3 Reaper Souls Ultimate Evil. Station.